in this drill, athletes get a high volume of basic blocking repetitions and can work on developing balanced movement and control in the air when attempting an angle block. In this drill, the coach tosses the ball up in the air and hits it into, off or around the blocker. This drill is normally done with the blocker knowing what the attacker is hitting and working on specific arm and hand positioning for each particular block. The drill gives the blocker a great opportunity to practice the two types of angle block. In angle block one, the athlete makes a quick, low, sideways movement to the angle before jumping up for the block. And in angle block two, the athlete stays on the attacker's line and jumps across into the angle. With angle block one, the hand positioning will be similar to that of a line block, but the technique for angle block two is different in that the arm will penetrate across the net towards the middle of the court as the outside arm bends slightly to close up the gap between both hands. During the drill, the coach should remind athletes to 1. Penetrate over the net with the hands. 2. Focus on having a strong inside arm when blocking angle block 2 and close up the gap between the hands. And 3. Stay low and balanced when moving across for the block so that they don't waste time by having to reload the legs prior to jumping up.